Hi friends, my name is Neil and I'm going to be your instructor for this course. Did you know that the onboarding experience of an employee largely determines his overall satisfaction and loyalty to the organization? Let's take the example of an employee, a mid-level manager who has decided to join a new organization. He is relocating from his current city to this new city and he is bringing along with him his family. So this gentleman has decided the date of joining and he is flying down along with his family and he is put up in the company's guest house. Now on the first day of joining to the office, vehicle comes on time to pick him up from the guest house. He reaches office, he is meeting his new manager, he gets introduced to his neat new team and all the other joining formalities are getting completed. So he is given with a laptop, he is given with his login, he is given with all the other necessary infrastructure which is needed for him to run the show. So everything happens in the first half of the day. So in fact you should say that things have been structured or have been planned so well that the employee is thrilled on the first day of this joining. Now subsequently when he goes back from uh, his office he has to figure out a set of things that his family is wanting him to do urgently such as look for the school, the school decides where you will find your accommodation and then you need some suggestion on accommodation and you find that schools are not giving admission in the middle of the academic year. So from the second day onwards though everything is set up for him at office he is mentally occupied and is not able to dedicate much of his mind space for office work. Whoever he meets in the office he constantly tries to find out about the city, about the schools, the preferences of schools that they have, what are the criteria that they use to select the schools. He's trying to find out localities where he would be able to get the best deals for rentals and so he is mentally occupied with all these things. Company is certainly very courteous and helpful to him in a manner that they are able to provide him a cab in the evening hours so that the cab is at his disposal. He can go and figure out various properties and he can meet you know people such as the school principals and correspondents to get the admission. They in fact also liberally allow him to go on a single day a little early so that he can do all this house hunting and school hunting. Unfortunately that's not sufficient. So after around two weeks of hard effort trying to figure out all these things he is still not decided the school, he is still not decided his house and in these two weeks in office the team has already made an impression about this employee. A first impression about his engagement has been already cast in the organization. People have already started talking about the fact that he is not so engaged at work. Is he a wrong hire on the first place? Because most of the times he is on the phone with his family and if at all he is not doing that, he is browsing his phone to look for schools and other stuff like that. So the whole experience for this employee at the end of two weeks is regretful. He made the right decision to join a good company but unfortunately two weeks later he is starting to regret if this decision was wrong and overall experience is bad. So what we are trying to narrate here is an emotional aspect of the whole process, the whole onboarding process which HR professionals like you will have to take into consideration. Most often we focus more on the functional aspect of the business which is to say that are we doing the right things for the employee for him to be productive? Are we making sure that he gets all the gadgets and you know all the IT credentials on time so that he can kick start and start delivering work? But unfortunately for all of us family comes before work and so in the first few days or in fact first few weeks of his joining or for that matter any employee including you and me, we would be mentally occupied on sorting out things on the home front. As a result, 
if we are able to put aside our process mindset and focus on aspects which are very emotional for the employee, then we may be able to build the right experience for the employee. So in this course, we will talk about what is employee journey mapping, which is a design think thinking tool. And in this tool, we will talk about aspects such as functional and emotional balancing, which can help you to balance certain aspects of functionality of the process and certain aspects of emotional connect that the employee can build with the organization. As we move forward, you will create an end-to-end -end employee journey map and in doing so, you will understand what are the various challenges and aspects that you will have to take care while creating a journey map that is an employee journey map in your organization. As this is a design thinking tool, you will have a lot of opportunity to redesign your process and in doing so, it can give huge lift to your employees satisfaction and loyalty. So with this example, I would like to welcome you to this course. As we move forward in the other lectures, we will talk in detail about an employee journey map, design thinking and construction of an employee journey map. Thank you.